Hey folks, Engineer 775 here. I want to share with you uh, a home energy monitor or a data acquisition unit called Nurio. Um, this uh, is a unit that will allow anyone to basically monitor what their home is using or any piece of equipment for that matter. And today I'm, I'm going to be adding it to this uh, project I've been working on. I'm going to add it to this panel because I want to capture uh, how much energy is being used not only by the chiller, but also by the circulating pumps, the air handlers, the fan coils, everything it takes to heat and cool this building is what I want to capture on this because I want to correlate it to the solar energy that we're actually uh, have on site. So is it, you know, basically is there enough solar energy? Is it a good match? And sometimes, you know, we think a piece of equipment only uses this much energy and we're going by the nameplate ratings of amperage and voltage and that's not a good way to really know how much energy is being used because there's too many variables how poorly this building might be insulated might be the biggest variable here in terms of energy consumption so um, this is what we're going to do today so there's a unit i'm going to put inside the power panel the nurio unit there are CTs, current transformers, that will get put around the leads, and they're directional, of course, and they will be used to uh, calculate. So we'll have amperage going through there, and we'll have voltage, and I put in two breakers in the panel, two 15-amp breakers, and we'll connect them up to the, the Nurio. You can also get add-ons. This can do three-phase power. It can also... Um, it comes with, you can buy a separate extension package for solar. So you can actually monitor your PV and your home's usage on the same piece of equipment. You can do it on your phone. It has, there's a Nurio app and of course it's uh, web based. So you can check in on your, your home and your renewable energy system from anywhere. So we're going to go ahead and put this in and just got to add this unit to the to the panel There's plenty of room so let's uh oh they even come with a nice little label and this they'll know that uh i got two single single pole breakers but that'll work I'll label that up later okay uh i guess this is penetration through the panel i think they give you everything here's a little antenna that will go on the side all right and then i'll have to configure it for the uh, the router that is that is here on site. Okay, let's get to work. Okay, so I just mounted a little Nurio box in the center of this panel, and I'm going to just I'm going to put the antenna coming out the side here, and then I'm going to hook up my voltage leads and two hots and neutral. I'm not sure what the blue wire is, but I should just say to uh, put a wire nut on it. So. Okay, and then I'm gonna put the CTs around my power coming in. Okay, got the Nurio in, the antenna coming out the side of the panel box. Got the wires routed. You gotta have um, two wires for the voltage calculations. One wire goes to the neutral bus bar. And then the two current transformers are placed in here with the labels facing the source of power, which is opposite away from me and that's it so we're gonna fire this thing up and turn this chiller back on and then we gotta configure it for the web okay so within the Nurio software you can see it's to today I'm, I've got this over here in the upper right hand corner I'm tracking today's output and um, let's see here <coughs> excuse me let me show you a few things um, so far Today we've used 33 kW. That's a lot. It's been very cold, and um, you can see by the hour from um, this morning at 12 o'clock till right now, it's about 12 hours of production at 3,300 kW. 33 kW, sorry. Um, and you can see now, weather-wise, as the sun comes out and uh, the building warms up, I would need less and less uh, cooling. I'm mean, heating capacity. 
and uh, let me just let's just take a snapshot of yesterday and this is yesterday's full production it's very similar to today's and it drops off when the sun comes out and then it um, it's creating um, we're actually storing energy in a in a um, tank in a Calmac um, um, insulated tank we'll get into that later but I just want to show you the Nurio so you can chart energy over time power over time and uh, see what she's actually doing here's a different look at power over time in kilowatt um, in actual kilowatts and it's averaging 2.7 kilowatts so you multiply that times 24 um, let's look at yesterday that gives you over 2.2 kilowatt average over the entire day so it would have let's look at energy over time used then um, oh, yesterday over probably about 50 kW but uh, let's see what she she's still loading up there yeah 52 kW down here in the lower right hand corner so um, I'm enjoying this and this is the entire critical loads panel so it includes a lot of different things so I'm gonna also isolate out I haven't done that yet I just I just got received the CTs to actually just clamp the chiller and see what it's producing so um, pretty excited everything is running and we have so many different ways of monitoring um, the chiller through its own software on, in, on its controller and um, this Nurio is kind of a third party um, so my, my main goal is just what does it really take uh, to produce uh, the amount of energy required to heat and cool a structure and also at the same time produce um, enough all the domestic wa hot water that would be needed so um, just been having fun and as we introduce ways to make this better in terms of thermal storage uh, battery storage uh, we ventured into the uh, 380 volt Tesla world and we're actually looking at uh, Panasonic uh, as a battery, uh, Wu Long out of China as a battery and you'll be seeing a battery installed alongside these inverters here shortly so uh, to me the name of the game is uh, storage in the future being able to store power make power when the sun shines this goes back to my philosophy make hay while the sun is shining this applies beautifully to this uh, project so just imagine being able to use the sun to heat and cool your home um, as a byproduct of cooling uh, to be able to make all the hot water that your your home your structure needs and to be able to store the energy for off-peak hours so when the sun's down you have all this either an ice bank or a paraffin tank and you also have electric storage you have the battery lithium ion batteries uh, lithium ferrophosphate batteries actually being able to run uh, the chiller um, so there's so many cool things going on here uh, and I uh, just wanted to share them with you okay